<sighs> it's been weeks since I've done a video review. I need something to get me back into the game. I need something, something crazy, something monumental, something big. I need... Well, this will do. What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Voodoo TV. Guess who's back? Did you all miss me? No? No, 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 that's cool. Now I know what you're all thinking. Will it blend? I don't know. But what I do know that it blends? Some sick graphics. <laughs> uh, sorry, my, my manager just made me say that. But anyways, this is the Sapphire Radeon 6990 and considered by many to be the most powerful and fastest card on the market. It comes bundled with some amazing features and even more amazing specs. And we're going to go over it today with you. Taking a look at the card, you'll notice that it is a rather large card. The card measures in at 12 inches long, and if you haven't guessed already, judging by the size, this is a power hungry card. It requires a minimum 750 watt power supply using two 150 watt 8 pin MOLUT power connectors. The 6990 is a dual GPU card. It features a 4GB GDDR5 memory, dual BIOS to provide the ability to switch between a performance mode and a screen performance mode for all your overclockers. It has an 880MHz engine clock, a 5GHz memory clock, and two 256-bit memory interface. It has DirectX 11 support and is AMD iFinity ready as well as Crossfire ready. The video card comes bundled with all the necessary cables and adapters needed for an iFinity setup. This includes the driver disc with a Sapphire sticker, but we recommend grabbing the drivers off the main website, a quick start guide, the Crossfire bridge interconnect cable, a DVI to VGA adapter, a mini display port to display port cable, a mini display port to an HDMI dongle, a mini display port to SL DVI passive dongle, and finally a mini display port to an SL DVI active dongle. So in conclusion, the Radeon 6990 demonstrates very well that size does indeed matter. Now, I do have two clips about the video card. The first being that it's a bit on the pricey side, and the second, the horribly rendered women that they put on the front of the card. It's not very comfortable to look at. Yeah, that's not comfortable to look at. But anyways, for a full review of the product, be sure to check out our blog at blog.rudo.com, as well as be sure to comment below not there, but below, and subscribe above to stay up to date on all our product reviews and future tech tips. I'm Kevin from Rudo TV, and I'm the girl throw up now.